Hello guys, welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I'm doing a makeup tutorial with products that I would never usually use because I either hate them or they just don't work for my skin. So let's go ahead and jump into it because I do have a big bucket full of makeup that I've honestly touched like once or twice and I was like, no. No thanks. I'm just gonna prime my eyes like I normally do just so when I do put the eyeshadows on that I don't like, you'll be able to see that they don't work even with the good eye base. Just so you guys know, some of the products in this video I genuinely hate and I'm like, why did you even bring this out? Nothing against the brand or nothing against you guys if you do like them, but I just thought I would disclaim that. And also the other products in the video I don't like because of my fault because I either bought like the wrong shade or the wrong formula for my skin and I completely take the blame for that. But I thought let's put it in a video because I'm never going to use it anyway. Um, obviously if it doesn't work for me, so... Starting with the eyeshadow, the first product that I really don't like is the NARS Jewel Intensity Eyeshadow. So this one's in the shade Tan Lines. The packaging is really cute. It's a nice color, but it's just not as pigmented as I think it should be considering it is a high-end brand. So I'm going to swatch this on my hand so you can see this right there. And then I'm going to swatch it against the Anastasia eyeshadow, which I'm pretty sure are cheaper. So I'm just going to swatch this one up here on the back of my hand. You can just see how sheer that product is. Like, what do you mean? Even though this Anastasia product is a darker shade, obviously, it's going to look more intense. You can even tell, like, in the formula, it's just a lot more buttery and pigmented and a lot more color comes off with just one swatch. So I guess I'll just be taking this in my crease and um, seeing what look we can do. Oh, my God. Yuck. I do find this a lot harder to blend as well than, like, the regular, like, Anastasia eyeshadows or, like, Makeup Geek or anything. This looks like I'll be sitting here for a while. <laughs> Keep in mind, I am actually still trying to make this makeup look nice. I'm not just going to slap it on my face and be like, I fucking hate it. I'm actually trying, okay? And then the other shade that I have right here is also NARS, and this one's called Topless. It's just, again, really sheer, and <laughs> if you use, like, Makeup Geek or something, it's just going to, like, be booming in your face, but you can hardly see this one. Actually, this could be nice for a highlight on the cheek because it's, like, not over the top, you know what I mean? I guess if you do want literally like the slightest bit of sheen to the lid, this would work for you. But I just honestly don't see the point when you can get something like cheaper. It's better. Thank you. Now let's move on to the foundation. This one is the Asada Mineral Velvet Cream. I bought this like a few months ago for like $90 um, because my friend used to use it. Chloe and she said it was really good and I used to like it back in the day that's when I had no idea about makeup so I'm like I'm gonna go get it again I used to like it back in the day but then I used it it is completely orange and it is so thick that it makes my lines around here just like look cakey and it just doesn't look nice on my skin I do like that it's mineral though so as you can see right here this is the consistency of the foundation it is really thick okay so let's go in and blend this onto the face Thanks. It does have um, sunscreen in it though, which is good. The last time I used this foundation, it was really orange on me, but I'm guessing I just didn't have a spray tan on then, so obviously it's uh, not as bad as I remembered. <laughs> but um, I do definitely remember that it was like really thick and when I would smile a lot, it would get all cakey around my nose area. So I will show you that later, but it's going to take a while to get to that stage. Okay, so for concealer, I have this one from LA Girl. This is the Pro Conceal. And I do use this in some videos and I probably will continue to use it in videos just because it is so affordable and I do like to show the affordable side of makeup sometimes. So the only reason why I don't like this is because when I put it under my eyes, it leaves like little chunks of product under there and it doesn't blend out. Like it looks like little sand specks under there. My friend actually told me that that happened to him as well and he just bought some new ones and the other ones were fine. Um, so maybe I have a dud. I don't know, but when I said that on my last video, people were like, that happens to me as well. So I don't know, I guess it happens to the best of us, right? So I'm just going to put this right under here. Some people love this stuff. I'm obviously going to buy some more because... I know it has potential. Let's blend her out. This shade is obviously too light for me, my bad. I have like 20 shades and I always grab the wrong one. But you can definitely see the little chunks under my eyes. I'm going to zoom you guys in when I finish blending so you can see what I'm talking about. So he have all of the spots that the concealer has made. Not cute. The next pro... Oh, I only like broke my teeth off. They're just clonked together so hard. The next product that we have here is from NYX. This is the HD Studio... Finishing powder, this is a translucent powder. So when I bake underneath my eyes, I get the worst flashback. I will never understand why companies bring out products that flash back because 
Everyone gets photos. Even without a flash, this flash is back. I'm like, what are you doing? So I'm... I don't know if you can see that, but like, it looks like there's a cloud. This powder literally looks like snow. It is the... This powder is like so finely milled. It feels amazing. Like when you dip your finger in there and rub it, it's like the softest thing you've ever felt. But it sucks because it flashes back. So I'm just going to um, set underneath my eyes. Oh my god, it's like literally not sticking. What do you mean? Is this off or something? I'm just going to let this bake. Actually, no, I'm not because fuck that. Okay, so I'm going to wipe away this bake. And see what we're left with. Literally in real life right now, I can't see any whiteness on my face. I look in the viewfinder, looks like I'm still baking. Like, whoa! It's all these lights like flashing it back. It's ridiculous. Okay, so let's move on. I will show you guys what the flash looks like on as well. Actually, I'm gonna show you now. It's so funny. <laughs> <gasps> Are you serious? Are you? <sighs> Anyways, let's move on to the face. So I'm going to use the NARS Translucent Crystal Powder. So this is a light reflecting setting powder in a pressed form. So this is what it looks like right here. When you swatch it, you literally like this is all you get. Like a tiny little sheen of like what looks like a really not dramatic highlighter. Literally. This powder isn't the worst thing I've ever tried. It just doesn't. Why is my face stiff? It just, I don't know, I feel like it's not really doing anything at all. I don't see it reflecting any light at all. My face looks completely matte after I've put it on. And, I don't know, I just feel like I'm basically putting nothing on my face. It does set it a little bit. It's definitely not as wet as it was before, but I just feel like this is completely pointless. Like, I don't, I don't know. I just never reach for it. I'm just going to put some eyeshadow underneath my lash line. Can't even see it. So I'm just doing my mascara with the Revlon Ultra Volume Mascara. It looks like this. So this one is really nice for the upper lashes. It really separates them. It's not too um, lengthening, but it does add a lot of volume to the lashes. But honestly, if you ever use a mascara with a massive one like this, stay away from the lower lashes because it is so easy to bump the skin under there and then the whole lower lash line is black and smudged and it's just not a fun time. Bit of an inner corner highlight. Where is it? <laughs> Kidding. Literally though, where is it? Now for the eyebrows. So this one is the Anastasia Brow Definer. This is an angled um, brow pencil. So I bought this like a year ago and I've used it once ever since it, ever since I bought it. So I do like that it has a spoolie on one end, but oh. Okay, I'm gonna swatch this for you so you guys can see what I'm dealing with. It is so waxy that one just broke. It is so waxy and dry that when I put it on my eyebrows, my, it literally pulls out my brow hair and it hurts. And it's just really hard to get that really nice, like, nice brow. I just can't. I just can't. I just feel like it's so hard to get, like, that outer, like, tail area to make it nice and sharp. Like, what is that? And then underneath to make it really defined, like, a really nice straight line. The reason why this is all like smudgy down here is because I had to press really hard for the like color to actually show off You know what I mean? And then by the time I was pressing hard it was all the way half way down my face So I'm like I just don't know. I'm never using that again. So yeah Okay, so let's move on to the face. I feel like this is gonna be so much fun. So right here I have the Mac Extra dimension skin finish in the shade shaft of gold. I'm pretty sure this is a highlighter well, it was on the highlighter stand and I bought it for myself and then I got home and I was like, oh shit, I can't believe they sold that to me. It's literally going to be like a bronzer on me. If you do have dark skin, I think this will look so stunning because it's just like a really nice deep gold. But I just like, she knew it was for me and <laughs> why did she let me buy this? Because that's definitely, definitely not going to work for a highlighter. I'm actually going to try and use it as a bronzer and see like what it looks like. It's going to be so shimmery, obviously, but whatever. This is obviously my fault for buying the wrong shade. I'm not blaming the worker or anyone else. I am smart enough to know that this is too dark for me. I just was too excited. I just wanted it because I heard so many people talking about it. Okay, maybe not. Of course, I'm going to bake with my favorite NYX powder just under my bronzer because I always bring it down too far. I can't wait to take this off. 
This powder literally smells like corn flour. I literally bought that last week to play with it. Jonathan's like, what are you doing, you child? It's fun, maybe I can play with this. Now it's time for the highlighter. So this one is from Urban Decay. It is the Naked Illuminating Trio. So the only reason I don't like this is because the chunks in this are so thick. It kind of just looks like you're putting glitter on your face. I do prefer a highlighter that is just like really finely milled and it's really intense and beautiful. Even if it's not intense, I just don't like glittery chunks. You know what I mean? So. I'm gonna take this shade right here and put this on so you can see what I'm talking about. When I do swatch it, you can see like glitter sparkles going everywhere as well. So it's not, you know, just not good. Unless you like sparkles. I'm just gonna spray some Fix Plus on my brush so you guys can see like full potential. I guess this would be cool for like a festival, wouldn't it? Oh my God. Next we have blush. So this one is from Becca. Don't get me wrong. I love the Becca blushes. This is a purely my fault for getting the wrong shade. <laughs> are you serious? This is so intense and these are the most pigmented blushes you'll ever come across. So the fact that it's that intense of a color, you're going to have to literally like barely touch your face at all. So let's see what this looks like because there's no way I have ever used this and there's no way I will ever use this again because look at it. Okay. <gasps> Oh my god, I literally wiped off as much as I could. It stained my brush and it is just like a big pink dot. I could literally just sit here all day just blending this out, but it's not going anywhere because there's so much product on my cheek. And I honestly tried really hard to just make that work, but no. Okay, so I'm just going to skip the lashes because I don't have any that I don't like. And um, let's be real, I'm washing this off as soon as I'm done. Anyways, let's move on to the lips. I'm using the Kylie Kai Majesty Liquid Lipstick. I remember I always used to buy just like every shade that should come out with just because I'm like, yay, it's Kylie's product. I'm going to buy everything. But like, why did I buy this? Why? It is a blue with a silver like shimmers in it. And I just like, I would never wear this in a million years. So may as well do it today. Oh, it smells absolutely stunning though. Let's be real. Will Kylie ever wear this color? Probably not. Just keep in mind that it's only the color that I don't like. I love the formulas of the liquid lipsticks from Kylie. They're amazing. Love. Another thing is you definitely do need to do like three or two coats to make it like as intense as it is in the bottle. Okay, so here we have the finished makeup look. This is the ugliest thing I've ever seen in my life. Honestly, I tried to make this work. <sighs> Let's do a quick overview of the whole face. So the foundation is looking a little bit cakey around this area right here. My nose is completely separated. I don't know if that was the uh, foundation or the concealer. Either way, like it's not really working for me. The concealer isn't too bad. Again, I do use that all the time and I kind of try and make it work anyway, but it's just the little specks that it did leave. Um, this obviously wasn't supposed to be a bronzer, but I was just playing around. The blush isn't for my skin tone. If you do have darker skin tone, I think it would look amazing on you, just like this one right here. The highlighter kind of looks like I've just blown glitter on my face. It doesn't really work for me um, with like a full glam or even like an everyday look because it is so chunky, the glitter. Um, maybe a festival, as I said before. I'm not sure. The brows, I'm never using that again ever in my entire life. Thank you. And then the eyeshadow has gone really ashy when I put it on. Like I'm not feeling it at all. It's just not working. And then the lips, um, yeah, don't even know why I bought that. That is my fault. I'm so sorry. I'm really sorry. And then um, the bakage is probably the worst thing. Like, yeah, it's the worst thing of the whole look. Like, never buy this. See? I just thought if something has HD photogenic on it, it means that you can take photos with it. No, you can't, honey. Anyways, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and turn the little notification bell on down there so you don't miss any of my videos. <laughs> Give this video a big thumbs up. I love you and I will see you in my next video. Mwah.